Hello everybody, my name is Briscoe. I'm with the GrowersExchange.com, an online greenhouse and garden center growing herbs, annuals, and perennials. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about butterfly gardening. The list of plants and the list of butterflies are extensive, so today I would like to stick to a basic overview of planting a butterfly garden. Your plants are going to have to be divided into several categories. First off, we have host plants and we have feeder plants for the butterflies. The host plants are plants that the butterflies will actually lay their eggs on and the caterpillars which hatch will consume the leaves of that plant. A good example of that is Asclepius, better known as butterfly weed. The other type of consideration you have to make is some of your plants will be annuals and some will be perennials, so you probably would like to put the perennials towards the back of the bed as they will be a permanent planting. The annuals which need to be replaced every year will be much easier to reach in the front of the bed. Asclepius, or the milkweed family, is the sole food source for monarch butterfly caterpillars. We plant perennial Asclepius tuberosa and annual Asclepius silky mix, a cut flower variety. From that patch we can harvest cut flowers and we watch monarch butterflies appear all summer. A butterfly garden is a natural type garden and it's not going to be a neat and trim garden such as an English cottage garden. The plants are going to grow wild and you need to choose flowering plants that will flower between midsummer and late summer when butterflies are most active. To find more about butterfly gardening, I encourage you to browse our website, thegrowersexchange.com, and bring these butterflies to your garden.